Buckle up, fight fans, and prepare yourselves for a journey into the octagon with a compilation of MMA's wildest spinning roundhouse kicks. When you fight a southpaw, their liver is on the right side of the abdominal. It's close. Did you know that a skilled spinning roundhouse kick range well? Spin. Oh! He got a wheel kick. Generates force comparable to a sledgehammer hitting your opponent at full speed. Do you Flash. see that? He ran off the wall like a. Well, to start, do you know what a spinning roundhouse kick is? If not, don't worry, we'll cover that later. In this video, we'll go through the most brutal knockouts made by spinning roundhouse kicks. Another spin attack! You that's it! Steven! And discuss which was the best one and which are the best fighters to perform it. But before we continue with that, what can we consider the perfect roundhouse kick? Up to the higher level of talent. And the, oh, the perfect roundhouse kick can be determined by some factors such as precision, creativity, finesse, and power. The ideal kick would be the one to be performed at its best in every aspect. Again. Let's take, as an example, Darren's spinning roundhouse kick against Mike. As you can see, Darren Cruikshank is going very aggressively on Mike Rio. He's looking for a space to land a kick. And he does. He didn't fall unconscious, so he had to finish him after that kick. That's because he hit him with the sole, the soft part, and Rio was able to absorb it. If he got him with the heel, Mike Rio would still be unconscious right now. Now, you have seen an amazing roundhouse kick, but check out the most shocking knockout you'll ever see. The exceptional kick here by Edson Barboza was fast, accurate, and powerful. Terry Etim just fell around after receiving that kick, and the way Edson landed it with the heel directly into the jaw made Terry drop unconscious instantly. That is about as out as you can get, possibly one of the most, if not the most spectacular knockout in UFC history. That sure was a shocking knockout. Chance and risk getting knocked out! Oh my god! Wow! Wow! The way he executes the roundhouse kick is impeccable, but what is a roundhouse kick? The roundhouse kick is one of the most effective kicks of MMA. It's unexpected and powerful, well delivered, and it causes devastating amounts of damage. Professionals can generate remarkable force with a roundhouse kick often exceeding 1,000 pounds of force. An excellent example of a skilled roundhouse kick is the one of Lando Vasata up since John McDessie. Venata takes the initiative and forces Makdesi to retrieve some steps. He coupled a low kick to the knee with a spinning roundhouse kick and sent Makdesi directly to sleep. There was no way he saw that coming, sweet dreams, John. Well, that was the best example of a well-delivered kick, followed by that terrific knockout. Range well. Spin. Oh! He got a wheel kick. It just had to be on this video, another great kick was when Stephen Thompson knocked out Jake Ellenberger. The fight was developing pretty equally, but Thompson is about to change that. But Jake Ellenberger wasn't knocked out yet, so Stephen would have to try again in just a few moments. And with that kick, Ellenberger finally falls unconscious, and Thompson wins the fight. What a knockout we've just seen. Speaking of great knockouts, look how Roosevelt Roberts got knocked out stone cold by Ignacio Bahamontes. And that, sir, is how you do a spinning roundhouse kick. Well, that had to hurt. But if we were to evaluate knockouts by pain, this one would sure be the winner. Circling to his right side, switches his stance. Boom! Right on the chin. That hurt. But I don't think Wilker Barros even felt something after receiving that punch from Raymond Daniels. And he surprises him with an extraordinary punch out of nowhere. Incredible spinning punch. He received that right on the face. The next face is certainly going to end up bruised. Thiago Santos lands his heel perfectly on Jack Marshman's face and knocks him to the ground. 
Once there, he demolishes him with a round of punches, and the referee has to intervene. Spectacular finish by Thiago Santos. I wouldn't like being in Jack Marshman's shoes there. I wouldn't like being in the place either, would you? I don't think so. Paul throws those two magnificent kicks and shows no mercy beating him up hard afterward. That was a beautifully executed kick by Hall. Let's see a different one now. Zaleski takes advantage of that kick and uses it to win the fight. That's what I call a proper spinning roundhouse kick, but Victor Belfort's veached Luke Rockholds is above it. This guy is awesome. I just love how he does the roundhouse kick. He might be one of the best ones at it, but there are also more people. When talking about the spinning roundhouse, Kick some names stand out, for example, in MMA. Fighters like Edson Barboza and Anthony Pettis are known for their explosive spinning roundhouse kicks, adding a dynamic element to their striking. Do you flash. see that? He ran off the wall like a... Yaya Rodriguez, a skilled featherweight, showcases finesse and versatility with spinning kicks. These fighters have elevated the spinning roundhouse kick, contributing to the excitement of MMA matchups. In the next clip, we will see Anthony Pettis, as mentioned before. His speed coupled with his outstanding kicks make him a feared opponent. That's what I meant by outstanding kicks. But if we are talking about outstanding kicks, we have to talk about Junior Dos Santos's kick against Mark Hunter too. Dos Santos knocks him out with a kick and the referee has to get between them to prevent more damage to Mark and his bloody face. That was incredible. Probably one of the best so far. All the kicks were good, but if we were to rank them, this one seems to compete for the top places. What do you think? At this point, the Octagon has witnessed a symphony of striking brilliance. From Cruikshank's precision to Anthony Pettis's creativity, Thompson's finesse and Hall's power, each kick tells its own story. Right to the jaw, Clements is hurt again, thinks about the kick, bam, lands his right, then a left hand behind it, he's dead. Now, we turn to you, the audience, to decide which of these electrifying kicks stood out the most. Drop your comments, share your thoughts, and let the debate begin. The beauty of MMA lies in its unpredictability and the question of the ultimate spinning roundhouse kick remains open. Keep the discussion alive, and until next time, if you like this video, make sure to check out our top 13 jaw-dropping head kick knockouts